everybody, how are you? I hope you guys are all doing great and all doing very well on this fine, fine, fine Wednesday evening. Finally, we're doing a nighttime show, uh, which is very cool. And we've got an awesome lineup planned today. Um, Cho, Mikasa, Josh Wanti. Uh, we've got Mats Mapoyane coming on the show. We've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of awesome guests tonight. Um, how are you? Are you guys well? What have you been up to? What has your week been looking like? What do you got planned for the weekend? I hope that you're going to be joining us for our live streaming concert, the first of its kind, uh, right here in our Good Luck Studios, just below me where I'm sitting right now. Uh, we're doing a full-on show with pyrotechnic, with um, visuals, with lighting, production, the whole bang shoot. So if you don't know about it yet, go check it out on um, all of our social media platforms. You can buy tickets. And the whole vibe is we're trying to create a culture for musicians to be able to do gigs and continue to do gigs for the next period. So we're looking to all of you guys to support the series of six events that we're doing between now and uh, the end of September. And uh, we've got like a really, 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 really cool lineup. Anyone that you guys want to see, anyone that you might want to see that we maybe haven't thought of, drop us a message in the comments. We'd love to hear from you because we've got six slides. Um, and we are they're filling up very fast but we have one or two still available so it'll be really cool to hear what you guys think of that uh, yes so we're starting off with some very 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 exciting good news guys we had a phone call after um, last week. We had this absolutely amazing guest on the show Rob Paddock who started this this company called the Valencia Institute and uh, the Valencia Institute is basically an online high school where it's a global high school where kids can study and learn online but it's very uh, involved there are a lot of tutorage there's a lot of uh, mentorship it's it's not just like put your kid in front of a computer and that's that they have involvement with other kids they have um, mental emotional spiritual development um, and and coaching as well as obviously the educational side to it it's a full-on high school um, diploma and then you also and of course it's internationally recognized and then you also have boutique campuses around the world um, and we found out some absolute Absolutely amazing news this week, which is, I think, the highlight of my week so far. Valencia Institute has decided that they're going to partner with Good Luck Cares with the program that we've been running to feed people through COVID-19 to give away one full scholarship. That's grade eight all the way through to matric full scholarship to the Valencia Institute. So, I mean, like, it's wild. We're going to be announcing everything on um, on Monday. We're going to be doing a full press release about it. But just know that it's worth 430,000 Rand and it's going to one deserving child. We're going to tell you guys how, how you can apply. Maybe you know somebody who you feel really would deserve this scholarship um, or who can really make use of the scholarship. We're going to tell you how, how you can apply or apply on their behalf. And... Um, yeah, hopefully we can and find the, the perfect candidate for the scholarship. We're very, very, very excited about it. And thank you so much to the Valencia Institute for just being amazing and for putting this forward. Like, wonderful, wonderful news. Um, we're going to have a, a great music segment today, double music segment, starting off with somebody who has moved to the UK recently, but he's from South Africa. And he's a very, very talented pop singer. We're going to start off with his performance, playing specifically for you today on the lockdown. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Josh Wanty live. Sleep it already.
Josh Wanti live on the lockdown. Um, he lives now in the UK, but originally from South Africa and uh, doing all kinds of good things. I mean, don't you just love how he had his little uke and he went and he played in, a, and he played in the car park. We called him this morning. We're like, dude, we need a performance from you. He's like, okay, cool. And he made a hustle and he made it happen. So it's very cool. We're just trying to get Josh on the line. We're testing out a whole new setup here using Zoom, which is a new thing. We normally just tap them into the stream. But as you guys know, if you've been watching the lockdown since day one, we haven't got it right. This whole streaming thing is kind of a little bit of a farm still for most people. Um, we're all trying to adapt and trying to figure out how to do it. Um, but speaking of streaming, if you guys haven't heard by now, uh, we are going to be live on Saturday. You must get your tickets before they're all gone. We've got uh, a limited amount of tickets that we are doing uh, online, which is a very private very private little room through Howler that you guys can tap in to watch our live streaming concert, um, the Lockdown Live. I mean, the Lockdown Good Luck Live at the Get Lucky Streaming right here in our in our studios. And we're also doing a very limited capacity Zoom room. So if you guys want to be a part of the show, you want to get your hands up, you want to sing, you want to like get involved in the show, be on the screen, you can do that as well. Uh, it's really easy. All you need to do is get a VIP ticket. You'll be in the Zoom function and then you'll be with us in the show, which is going to be such a cool thing to be able to do. Um, so we're just waiting for Josh. We've got Josh on the line. We're going to, we're looking for one minute. Okay, i got to give him one minute. Um, but let me just go to the chat and see how you guys are doing on Facebook Live. I'm on Facebook Live right now. Who have we got? How are you? Let's have a look and see who is in the comments section so we can catch up with you guys. Uh, oh, Splashy. Uh, Mark is on the line. So nice to hear from you, Mark. Mark's just been such a loyal supporter of the lockdown. He's been such a legend. We've loved, 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 loved having him. Um, I need to expand this one so I can see all of you right here. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me what you've been up to. Tell me how your week has gone so far. Um, have you been, uh, what's been going on guys? Have you been seeing family, seeing friends back to work? Is that a real thing for you guys? Uh, yeah, I just would love to hear how things are going and what your weekend has been, what your week has been like, your start of your week. Yeah, I'm going to go to... Our week, our week's been very full on. We've had just rehearsals back to back, sorting out all the things we've had to sort out for the stream on Saturday. Um, yeah, we, we've got a live mixologist who's also joining us as well. So we've had to set up the bar, figure out exactly how the bar is uh, going to be set up so everyone can actually watch and get, um, you know, the whole band can get drinks to them live. It's going to be quite crazy. But you guys can also watch how these drinks are being prepared and how uh, if you want to make a gin and tonic or you want to make a peach cocktail with us, you can join in on the stream. We're going to show you all the how to's with this awesome mixologist called Peter. Um, so let's see who else is on the line there. We've got Rebwa, we've got Michael Anderson, we've got Joe DeVette. Hi, Joe. Hi, B. All these wonderful faces. So nice to see you guys on the, on the stream right here. Mark, Brian Mark says, Ben is so sexy. <laughs> He's feeling very unsexy right now. He's panicking on that side, but it's all good. That's all part of the fun. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got people joining from, the isle in from Ireland and the UK. We've got people joining in from Ukraine. Jeez, we've got a whole myriad of people here. Welcome, everybody. So nice to have you on the show. So, so nice to have you on the show. Have you got Josh on the line? I think yeah, I, yeah, oh, there you yeah. are. Yeah, sorry, man. What yeah, a hustle. Like, what a hustle to get you on and to get me on with you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's crazy. No, nah, it's not your fault. I think we're farming here a little bit. We've got new technology that we're trying to sort out and we've got just like, you know, you know how it goes, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah, no, we, all, we all had to learn how <laughs> yeah, exactly. So tell me, dude, you're in the UK right now. I can see it's nice and sunny where you are. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it's not too bad. It's nice and bright outside. The sun will go down about 9.30 maybe. Okay, nice. That's lovely. And um, and how has it been, like, from your perspective, just moving out of this, uh, into this and out of this um, lockdown period? I, I don't know how strict it is at the moment over there in, in the UK or whether you guys are still under heavy lockdown. What has the situation been like over there for you? It's been, I think, a lot more chill than South Africa by the sounds of things. Yeah. Um, I think the worst our lockdown was, was right in the beginning. It was quite strict. You know, we weren't leaving the house and that type of thing, but... Um, we were always allowed out for some exercise and, you know, walks and that type of thing. So it wasn't too bad. At least kept the sanity a little bit. Yeah. And um, and how did you, as a creative person, how did you deal with it? I mean, have you have you managed to get into studio? Have you managed to make music? Because obviously you can't gig. No. You know, you can't yeah, really exactly. do anything on that front. Yeah. So what, how, how have you actually, like, adjusted yourself as a musician? You know, in the beginning, I was, I, I have an EP to finish. So I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get stuck into it. I'm going to do some serious writing and 
I had the best intentions in the beginning, I think, yeah. like most people. Yeah. And then, you know, over time, I just, my creativity just dwindled and my ability to kind of, um, you know, be inspired just sort of dissipated over yeah. time. And yeah, I, really, I haven't enjoyed it. I'm a social yeah. person. Oh, dude, I feel you, man. Yeah, especially exactly. if you especially so, if you love performing as well you love doing gigs you love kind of being out and you know out and about it's it's tough it's really tough um and and the scene in the uk uh, you know have because obviously you're connected with other musicians you must be connected with other people in the, in that industry um what is the talk on the ground like is it is there like is there any inkling of going back to normalcy or is it still very much um you know what it is which is yeah. like a strict kind of it's not going to happen anytime soon I think it's, it's, they haven't even really been speaking about it. Um, you know, live music and that kind of thing. I'm not sure when. I'll probably end up playing in South Africa again before I play here. If okay. it actually uh, happens again. Yeah. Um, they haven't really said anything about any gigs or anything, but I did just get a mail yeah. from a studio that I used saying that they're opening on the 15th of June. So Yay, that's like a massive... That's positive. A massive <laughs> thing for me. I'm like, yes, please. I Yay. need to get oh, out great. of this house. That's know? great, dude. That's, I'm stoked about that. That's yeah. so good to hear. Very I'm so happy. happy for you. That's wonderful. So tell us about the new music. Because you say we're working on an EP. You've just released a single, right? I mean, that's that's big news. Um, tell us about how you know what you've been up to on the music front, um, and and what you've been releasing, and talk to us about the new stuff. Yeah. So I did an EP. Uh, I think it came out the end of Jan this year, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it was great. I had a good response and everything, but. I was kind of already starting to write for this new EP, and yeah. Um, yeah, I've got a I've got a bunch of tracks together. I'm, I'm kind of trying to cut it down from I've got maybe like eleven or twelve ideas that I want to really like elaborate on when I can get to the studio and properly track. But I think I'm going to cut it down to about six. Yeah, and Condense it's like it. a totally new direction for me. I've yeah. completely changed my whole vibe. Into what? Uh, this new. Um, I've gone very like indie. I mean, I was always kind of indie pop, but I had quite a like a little bit of a darker sound. This is like very light-hearted, very positive, upbeat, like super happy. So yeah. it's not really what I typically do. No, that's do, cool. That's what we need right funny. now, dude. Yeah. We need super happy. Yeah, exactly. You know, everyone is. Was perfect, exactly. yeah. no, that's super cool. I'm glad to hear that. Well, well, well congratulations, and we're looking forward to hearing all of that coming out of you in the next few months. Thanks. And like any any tips for anyone who's feeling a bit low at the moment because this show obviously is about positivity and it's about just connecting people and you know um, I'm sure you've learned a, a fair amount about yourself in this time. Um, do you have any like any tips for anyone out there who's watching or just how to keep their chins up a little bit? I need the tips. <laughs> <laughs> I need the tips. No, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's tricky. Like it's been a struggle to just stay motivated and just stay uh, positive throughout, especially because there's no real end in sight. Mm. Um, so I don't. I must be honest. I don't have any profound advice other than uh, probably what I've been doing to just stay sane, which is just take every day as it comes and sure. just take one day at a time sure. and uh, you know try and get moving, do a little bit mm. of exercise, um, and keep just it fresh. Try and, yeah, keep it fresh, mix mm. it up a little bit. Uh, it's the it's the sort of lack of routine that's that's killed me the most. It's mm -hmm. just like the same loop every single day of the same thing. Yeah. So my advice would just be to shake it up a little bit, mix it up Change where it you up. can within the uh, yeah. within the laws. Totally. <laughs> yeah. And 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 just just quickly as well on your move to the UK because obviously we know you're from South Africa now. You're living in the UK. Um, yeah. Is that is it was it the, what was the decision behind that and when did it happen and are you are you you know backwards and forwards or are you sort of more permanently based in the UK like what is your what is yeah. your thought process around that? It's actually super super weird that you that I'm speaking to you today about this because when I actually moved here I think it was about two days after I got here I went to watch Good Luck at uh, the garage. Uh -huh. in, uh, no way. In, uh, I think it's in Brixton, yeah. Cheapers, and uh, yeah. I actually went to watch you guys. It was exactly like exactly a year and a bit ago since I moved here. I think. Yeah. Or maybe a bit, a bit more, but it was like I actually saw the memories come up and I was like, oh, that's really weird. But yeah, the move was kind of, we were in Cape Town. We were really happy there. We love South Africa. Um, but it was kind of just one, uh, you know, one shot to just give it a go, see yes. if it works out. Yes. If it give doesn't it a... work out, we can always come home. 
and yeah, I've been really grateful that we did it. Um, it wasn't, it was no specific reason, real reason. Just a change of scenery. Yeah. 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 You know, actually, yeah, I know exactly what, I know exactly what gig you're talking about. It was like 40 million degrees inside the, yes, it yes, was super yes, sweaty yes, and yes. hot and ho horrible. <laughs> I think the laptop crashed yes, and everything. It overheated. It, no, we had a yeah. Oh, dude, I remember good that. Time, yeah. yeah, it was good times, awesome. man. Well, listen, I, I'm so yeah. glad that you are, that you're happy with your decision and I hope that you just at least come back and visit and gig, you know, enough that we, that we get to have a little of share course. of you and of your course. talent because I know, I know South Africans are very like proudly, you know, they're very proud of their own people and it's nice to be able to remind them what all yeah, of our talent is doing overseas and how you guys are evolving and developing and it's really cool to see all the new music that you're putting out. Um, I hope Thanks, it's going to be a great rest of the year. And dude, keep your chin up, man. Like, just focus Thank on the you. music. And you're writing happy songs. And that's yeah. like, think about how incredible that is, you know? Think about how awesome no, that is. No, no. So, I had a breakthrough last week, which has definitely lifted my spirits. I just broke through that writing block, and it's yeah. definitely lifted my spirits a bit. Oh, dude, so, yeah, thank, thank you. Well, listen, I'm very happy that you are our first guest tonight on the lockdown, um, the new studio uh, slash late night slot. Because we, we've been doing it in the mornings up until now. Obviously, we've been to level three. We're moving out of the morning slots into like a once a week evening slots. And we're still farming. Like, it's crazy. We've been changing all of the equipment and the gadgets. Yeah. And the, you know, we're just, I don't know, we're just figuring out as we go. We're having a lot of fun. And um, thank you for being the first guest to be on the show. It's really nice to chat to you. And I wish you yeah, all yeah, the best. Thanks for having me, Jules. Much appreciated. And thank you so much for the performance as well, by the way. You are such a gem oh, for sure, doing yeah. that. Well done. I just had to head down to the basement and quickly uh, try and get something done. Yeah. So sorry if it... No, it was insane. Yeah, it looked like a little music video. I loved it. It was super cool. Yeah, thank you so much, Thanks, Josh. Dude. Have an awesome rest of your evening awesome, and sending man. you much love from, from Cape Town. Cool. Take care. Much Cheers. love to you guys. Eh? Cheers, Chat man. Soon. Cheers. Chat soon. Bye. As Josh Wanty, everybody, alive on the lockdown. What a, what an awesome guy. He's so real. He's just like, you know what, I'm having a tough time. I need the advice. And I think that's it's very cool. I think, you know, no matter who you are, no matter what you do, whether you're a musician or whether you are anyone, really, doctor, nurse, whatever you do, I think it's um, everyone has, has is facing challenges at the moment. And it's good to know that, we, that we're going through it together, that you're not alone. Um, I think if you are feeling really down, this platform is here for you guys to speak to us and to tell us, you know, why you're feeling down and we'll reach out to support network. Um, We've been doing incredible things through this, through this lockdown platform. We've managed to feed up to 5,000 people a day through our charity initiative. We've raised over half a million rand. Um, and that's all thanks to people just showing togetherness and a sense of community. And it's just a wonderfully powerful, positive thing. So, uh, yeah, reach out. If you, if you want to get in touch, you can either comment in the comments or you can join our group, The Lucky Ones, on Facebook. Um, we always interacting there, engaging. Any content suggestions, anyone you want to feature, any business that you think needs a bit of a leg up, we're here to to give people that platform and to really just connect everybody. So get in touch. Um, up next, guys, oh, oh, music is hitting hard tonight, eh? Seriously, we've got a treat for you coming up now. Any of you know of a little small kind of, you know, like little band, just a sort of small band from Johannesburg <laughs> called Mikasa, <laughs> massive band from Johannesburg. Um, well, we're very excited. They are going to be joining us live on the show. And uh, we've got Jay something coming in. Uh, hopefully, we've got Dudan Moti as well. We'll have to see. But uh, before we get into that, we're going to play you an old little performance video just to remind you who these guys are and the vibe and the energy that they bring to the music scene here in South Africa. Something in your ear, something that you might like. Now, one, you're looking good, looking too good. Yeah, uh, two, I'd make every man in here praise you uh, if I could. Come on now, three, is there any way that we could be? Oh, but for now, I'll stop with all that counting and ask if you could join me. Chica. You go like this, all right? Oh, chica, my baby, chica, and your turn. <laughs> oh, chica, my baby, chica, yeah. Oh, chica, my baby, chica, oh. Mochi, hola, boy. Chica, my baby. Mm, yeah. Chica. Oh, chica, my baby, chica, hey. 
I just wish, you know, I just wish. <laughs> oh, I can see Dr. Duda's face. Duda! Duda, Duda, Duda. How are you, my love? Are you? Are what's you, up? What's up? Are, are you, you doing the interview with me tonight? Is it you? I'm so happy to see your face. Um, I, I guess it's just me. I, oh, just I guess you. it's just me alone. It's just you alone. Uh, well, this is a treat, talking. my friend. This is a treat. It's not often you get to talk to the mighty Dr. Duda on his own, you know? It's normally Jay just stealing the spotlight yeah. from you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see your face. How are you? Yes. Now I'm surviving, man. And you? Same, bro. Same, you know. But I mean, surviving, you guys are not surviving. You're thriving at the moment. I've been watching all the things that Mikasa have been up to. And it's just so good to see this, like, resurgence in energy and vibrance and life. And you've got so much goodness going on. You've got, I mean, you've just released a new song. You've just signed you know, globally to Universal. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you are, you're on a label that is just fronting African music across the world. Like, just talk to me, dude. Talk to me about, let's just start with a single. Talk to me about Church Bells. Very exciting. Uh, Church Bells, we, we, we kind of like wanted to, to make something different, um, yet um, tell a story about Mikasa also. Yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, being together for 10 years, it's not, it's not just a game, man. Because um, we, the the thing is, we wanted to be uh, different. Yeah. In this ten years of yeah. doing the same thing, which Mikasa do was doing was yeah. well known as yeah, was well known as doing like a dance house music and stuff. Yes. So we said like, no, let's just change and, and just do ourselves. Like, let's just do pop. Let's just do popular something music. That, something you just want to do straight just do up. What we love. Yeah. Know? Yeah, man, because it, it, it was one of those, for us, it's easy to, to do a radio single and yeah. the next radio single, you yeah. know, but, but where's, where's us, uh, like the personal stuff in, you know, in the song yeah. you know, itself. So Church Bells was one of the songs that let's just do music. Yeah, you know? man, that's so nice to hear it. I mean, like, I, I think you've always, you guys have always just done incredible music and there's so much soul and there's so much vibe. And I, I think we have Jay. Who do we have? Who's? Oh, wait, that's someone else. No, that's Mups. Mups is trying to. Should we admit Mups as well? No. No, Mups is trying to take over the show here. What's going on? Mups can wait. I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, I think there's. <laughs> wait, hold on. I think there's a few people waiting. I think yeah. Jay might be waiting here. Nah, he's not waiting yet. I thought he was going to come, There's but it's, it's all good. Don't worry. I thought he was just going to come steal your limelight again, you know. Um, anyway, I was just saying, you know, the, the great thing about Mikasa, I think, is that you guys, your energy and your, your togetherness, like, it, it really translates to your music, you know. And um, yes, you've always had an electronic mm -hmm. feel. You've always had a dance feel. But your songs are, are, are similar to us in that, you know, you tell a story through music. You always, every song that you have is like, yeah. it's got a beginning, a middle and an ending. You know, there's, 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 there's substance there there's like context there and it's really cool and so church bells um yeah, yeah. it's it's a, it's a still a pop song it still follows that like that storytelling vibe and it's very personal to you guys and then along with this release you're signing it to this to this label that is taking mu taking mm -hmm. african mu music and focusing on african music to like basically blow it up worldwide that's the plan so tell me a little yeah. bit about what that is yeah. and how you guys came to be a part of it big news by the way big news um we we, we, we were kind of like you know um at the same um you know idea since um we started uh and then in, in the past 10 years um we we tried and like you know let's just do things for ourselves you know and see where we can you know end up yeah. so we, we we did that like 10, 10 years ago and then this year we were like no um this part of our we feel like this part of the album this upcoming album is going to be you know we want it to be it to be like um global one you know so mm. so we always had that dream yeah, yeah we always had that dream to to release um some of our music globally globally you know? and you're doing it and so, i tell you I mean, you know what, on that note i'm just letting this boy in now he's knocking at the door here let's get him in the, let's get him in the show your colleague your colleague hold on wait let's see if we can yeah. find him I'm trying to get Jao in, so he's, I've admitted the guest. Now we just got to get him on the screen with you. So that there's all three of us chatting oh. here. Jao, where are you, Jay something? What up? What up, I hear you, boy. Hey, what's going on? Luke? How are you, are you good? What's good? Uh, we just need I'm to get you into you? this. Oh, there you are. Hello, how's it going? I was just having a lovely chat with Dr. Duda. <laughs> 
and it's let me see if it's we can working, man. i was trying to get all of you on the screen so maybe i mean even if you put them two on the screen and i can just i don't know we can figure this one out we, we're doing zoom for the first time we've never done zoom before so we're like farming a little bit you guys have been very patient oh, wow. thank you very much um but i was just chatting oh, i was just all chatting good. to duda about um about you know how incredible this news is that you guys are taking you've signed this major global deal with universal worldwide and you're taking african music to the world and finally you're not trying to do what other people want you to do overseas. Now you are taking your sound, which is very rooted in Africa, and you're going, hey world, pay attention. This is something new, this is something fresh, and this is the last undiscovered hidden gem in the world. Come and get it, because you want it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's exactly it, dude. Like, uh, it's just super exciting to think that like, you know, we've, we've been wanting this moment for a very long time. We've been knocking on the doors for a very long time, and, mm. and we've been trying the 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 cross the borders thing and, and i think for the last 10 years doing it independently has been a lot of fun but it's been a lot of hard work and we've mm. paid a lot of school fees so sure i think that it's like great that a like a label like universal dude believes that we have capabilities on a global platform that that yeah. says it all man. yeah oh mm. that's wonderful man i'm just i'm really 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 excited about what you guys are doing and i think um I just think it's, uh, you know, Thank it's you, it's Jules. paving the way for so many artists to kind of follow in your footsteps. And um, and 10 years down the line, uh, just the most phenomenal career. And you guys have, I mean, you've been through it all. We've been through it all with you. We've been along the road. We've had ups and downs together. We've had good days and bad days. But I think the most amazing thing, you guys have stuck mm -hmm. it, you guys have stuck it out in your brotherhood. It's more than just a band. You guys are brothers. Like, what does it feel like to be in this band, Mikasa? Yeah, man, it feel, it feels like now we, we we family, man, we family, and but um, I just want people to know that it was never easy, um, you know, um, three different um individuals, and you know, Jay loves this, I don't like this, more like this, I don't like it, and to bring everyone together in this thing, it was just hard, you know. But I guess um, with us having just one thing in mind, um, making good music together. So everything started you know, to to blow up and to work properly, you know. But I guess the most uh, important thing is just respect, man. Yeah. Have respect to one another, you know. Yeah, and yeah. talk if there's problems, you know. <laughs> to totally. Others. No one understands yeah. what it's like to be in a band. It's uh, it's it's like it's it's not nah. worse. It's more difficult than a marriage, man, because there's more of you. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like a marriage yeah, with lots of a, people. It's a proper relationship. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know, and you can only really understand it once you've done it, you know. Jay, tell me your 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 family. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you you I mean, you both have beautiful families. You both have you come from family life. How have you balanced? being um you know a family guy and being on the road and i mean obviously now it's a special time for you i'm sure just to be at home with your kid and and your wife and and as well for you do to as well with your family just being able to be at home yeah. how have you balanced this being on the road and you know and and uh, yeah and, and being a touring musician and having a family i think for me it's just been about i mean i you know I, I take my hat off to like our our wives you know like mm -hmm. our, our lives is are extremely weird and not only are we always busy but there's just always so much attention mm. and i think that like what i've seen in my wife in this in this journey is, is really a strength of of a human that that is and, and also the depth of love you know and i think mm. that that's the important thing it's like it's the depth and maturity of our love that allows us to absolutely be okay with being apart because we're doing what we love. So, oh, so cool. I think that like all of us have been really blessed with yeah. amazing yes. partners. And I think that it's made the whole process so much easier. easier yeah. And in lockdown mm. now, like it's a whole nother ball game, you know, like yeah. you're, you're always together now. They're probably like, like sick of you. They're like, get yeah. back on the road. <laughs> Go. Yeah, so, I need yeah. my space. <laughs> Uh, but but if it's not really like we 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 we're together, because I'm always in the studio trying to figure out something that I can use, and everybody now is just turned into this AV guy, cameras and stuff, you know. Sometimes sure. we like have fights, a little forget fights in the kitchen. I was just gonna put my speakers right next to her, you know. I was just cooking <laughs> it with some base. kitchen and stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are so but good. Yeah, like like Jay said, like Jay said, um, we're lucky we have the supporting wife. Yeah. 
Yeah, completely. You guys yeah. are very lucky, yeah. and um, it's very good that you respect and love them for it because I think uh, you know I've seen it over the years. A lot of a lot of people struggle with that side of it. About the balance, it's it's not easy to achieve, and. Um, yeah, and I think it's wonderful that you guys have that support. And I think, but it comes, it comes from a strength of character as well. You know, like attracts like. And when I'm with you guys on tour and I see how much of a family you are as a band, it's really inspiring, you know, to anyone who is um, watching well, South African you. music and South African musicians. And just to know that you guys have had this incredible career and it continues to just grow from strength to strength. There's like no stopping you guys. Um, and I think that's largely down mm. to the fact that you all have each other's backs. Um, even though... You would have gone through hard times. We've been through hard times. It happens, you know, at the end of the yeah. day, you guys are there for each other and it translates in the music. And Church Bells is no exception. Like, what a song, you know, to kickstart this new, like, wave of yeah. African domination and global domination. It's just so cool. Um, besides yeah. besides the Thank single, you. what's next? Oh, I'm, you're getting an applause from Ben from the Peanut Gallery. <laughs> ben, that was Ben, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ben, what's going uh, ben, on, homie? Ben is stressing. He's got all these new toys that he's playing with tonight, and he's yeah, he's stressing. Okay, <laughs> um, listen, so tell me, yeah, what, I can imagine. What, I can imagine. What's next for Mikasa? Like, I know it's a very loaded question and it's very broad, but um, tell me about the music, the releases, the label. What's coming up? Uh, yeah, people. No, I think killed, yeah, I'll let you go. I'm saying people nearly killed us with the album because it was set to be released on the 15th of of may but yeah. you know, we had to you know yeah it's just hanged in a little bit you know so but um the album should be coming out um in around um july oh, so exciting. obviously um everyone will just stay tuned to our social media and we'll be announcing and saying a whole lot of stuff you know? Brilliant, so there's dude. more coming but there's more coming now just we i'm just enjoy yeah, the music I'm just enjoy just the ready single. for the album ah oh, me too i'm so excited yeah. and jay from your side well, man, I, I, yeah, I think like I, I, I agree with Duda. I think like for us, the most exciting thing about what's coming up next is our album. And, and we've done we've done five albums. So like we know we've been there. So like for us to feel that an album is special is become harder and harder with totally. life because yeah. you become more and more used to it. Now, like this new album, dude, is like I've never heard anything like this. Yeah, I can see, and I, I can see how... I've, I've, I'm so proud of uh, how he's managed to... Like, the you guys, like, people aren't ready. Like, I'm not ready to listen to it every time I do. I'm like, wow. And, and I know that... And it's not me being arrogant. I mean, you guys know. No, me, dude, like, I know. Uh, Look, I can... It's beautiful, beautiful, listen, beautiful it's, it's, music. It's, 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 it's never arrogant. It is just... It's excitement. Oh, Moti! In the house! Hey. <laughs> oh, Moti! <laughs> Jeez, we have the whole band, man. This is so cool. We've got Moti. Moti, you need to talk so we can kick Jay's off, off of screen. Where is he? He's disappeared again. He doesn't yeah. want to talk. He's in and out. In and out, maybe some sort of internet troubles. Yeah, um, but no, listen, I, it's never arrogant. I can see by your face and by your energy, this is something that you're part of. And I know the difference. You've made an album, you've made a tons of albums. Some albums are, are like a hard work, you know? And by yeah. the end, you're just exhausted and you never want to hear it again for the next 10 years. Don't play that damn album to me. I'm not interested. And then there are just albums where you like are just proud of every single second. Um, and it's, uh, you know, and it just comes, yeah. it flows easier for whatever reason. And I think how wonderful that you're in a position five years down the line, five, oh, sorry, five, 10 years down the line, five albums down the line, that you're in a position to have a resurgence because a lot of people never find it again after that first successful album. It never happens again. Yeah. And you guys are having this again. And it's like, how great is that? There are not many musicians in the world who get to experience that feeling, you know? Hey, Moti. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I lost you guys just for a minute. I know, and you're also sideways somehow. <laughs> okay. Is that better? There we go. <laughs> now I can see there your you trumpets. Go. Oh, dude, it's nice to see your face. How are you? Are you good? All good at you. <laughs> I'm so good. It's so nice to see your face other than in the backstage. Moti in the house, everybody. Woo! <laughs> oh, dude, what a champion. Um, so how have you been? We've just been talking about Wives and the church bells and the album and coming up and the signing and the universal and the, like we've talked about pretty much everything but I just want to ask you how have you been during lockdown brother? Have you been handling everything okay? Um, you know what I think between the three of us or between myself Jay and Duda um, I've been the one that's been struggling the most you know in, in terms of 
being out there, you know, because I'm always out there in the streets, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but but, the, but I've been surviving, you know, and I think um, like thank God to the music, you know, thank God to the gift of music because yeah. I mean that's been keeping all of us alive, you know. Yeah. For and sure. um, yeah, and thank God for like communication, you know. Um, but yeah, but everything else has been all good. Awesome, dude. Um, I'm glad to hear that you're keeping your chin above water and, and just so so much excitement. How has the process been for you with this new album? I, I can hear in Jay's voice, he's just like over the moon and Duda, they're both so excited. Like, what are, you fe what are your gut feelings about this, this new album that's coming out in July? Well, you know what? We had so much fun recording this album, you know? And um, we've been saying that this is probably the best album that we've ever produced as a group. And um, yeah, I'm excited. Like I'm excited. Church Bells is doing so well. Yeah, it's Church killing Bells it. is getting so much love. It's killing it. And um, yeah, you know, just people have also been asking when the full album is coming out. You know, um, and uh, yeah, we're, like, I'm very excited, and so is Jane Duda. So we just can't wait till it happens. You know, till it gets released, and yeah. uh, we also can't wait for. The touring, touring you know, yeah the begin. touring after the album eh? and it's nice you have so much time to plan oh, now you have so much time to plan and actually just like get everything ready for 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 that you know um you don't have to rush into like finishing an album doing a tour like we're always so crazy you know we like into the onto the one from yes. the other to the other now you guys have some time so we're very excited guys and i'm just reading all the comments here on facebook and youtube there's so much love for you guys and everyone just saying that you're such a solid band and they, they're just your fans are out in full force tonight and everyone's so excited for the album so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for being our guest tonight um sorry that sorry that we ran a little bit late and i'm sorry that we're farming a bit here with this new zoom function <laughs> Um, <laughs> but um, Jay, uh, thank you. I want to say goodbye to all of you. We're going to have one at a time. I just want to say, firstly, Jay, thank you so much. Where are you, brother? Is, is thank that... you, George. Th thank you so much for being thank on the you. show and for, for telling us all the exciting things coming out and all the best for the next, uh, for the next chapter. Um, Duda, where are you? Um, I yeah. I <laughs> Duda, um, yeah. now we're on, Mo we on Moti, we're going to go back to Moti, and then uh, Duda doesn't want to look, I might have to click on your face, there we go, I don't know how this works, we're trying to work oh, yeah. this out there here, you go. there we go, so Duda, listen to me, <laughs> thank you so much for all your beats, and for all your patience, and for just being, I love watching you guys live, you're wonderful, and, and all the best for the next few months, it's been so cool to have you on the stage, like, from good luck to Mikasa, we have all, only love for you guys, like, only, um, Thank you. Thank you. And Moti, last... We love you too. <laughs> and Moti, last, last, you were last in and first out here tonight. But anyway, listen, we love you so much. Keep those horns, like, blasting and keep the good vibes coming. And everyone, check out the Mikasa album. Keep your eyes pinned to their socials. July is coming out. Support Church Bells. Stream it. Load it. And stay in touch with this ridiculously cool band. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Awesome. Take care, guys. Mwah! <laughs> that was Mikasa on the lockdown. Jeez, what an epic band. I know we we're going to run late tonight, guys. We've got too many cool guests tonight. Um, sorry. it's We start late, we run late. That's how it works, you know? That's how it works. Uh, we'll try to be more on time next week, I promise. Things are, as, and thank you so much for your patience on, on us farming our way through um, this new change of, of vibe and this new change of scenery and this new change of studio and this new change of equipment and everything. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, I think, do we have a video coming up next for Mups? We've got... Oh, we just we're just gonna we're just gonna show you a little bit of my guys. You know, Mavs Mapirani is here, right? They'll just go put on a little picture or two in case you need some reminding. We're gonna go through a little bit what what he's been doing. He's been doing this incredible, incredible feeding program. He is he's. I mean, if you don't know that he's Cosmo's sexiest man um, for 2013, then where have you been hiding? He's also second best dressed was GQ. I would have given him first best dressed, and um, he also was named one of GQ's cool 35 under 35. Yeah, that's quite a thing. Uh, obviously, he's a TV presenter, he's a model, he's an actor, he's a writer, he's a designer, he's an entrepreneur, he's a creative consultant. He's just a flipping all rounder. He's one of those. He's those triple threats, and he's been doing such good work during this lockdown. He's been feeding, championing this drive to feed thousands of people and making such a difference and uh, we've got him in the show tonight joining us i'm really really maps my darling i hope that you're there i hope that you can uh, i think your video is turned off we're going to see if we can get him to accept his video he needs to turn it on his side hopefully he can see me i'm not too sure 
He might have stepped away. Oh, there's a picture of his face. There he is, Mavs. Hello. <laughs> How, How are, you, are you? Are you good? Very good, thank you. Awesome, awesome, dude. How I was are just, you? I'm so good. I was just bigging you up. Like, I didn't actually know how many accolades you had. You like this, and you know, champion of this under 35, good looking, best dressed designer, actor, model. I, I don't have any. You have it all, dude. I'm sorry, you don't even know. I'm reading your biography here. You're an incredible person. Wow. I mean, I knew that before, but I really know that now. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, how, how, how are you, my dear? You know, I just I'm I, good. I'm trying to stay as sane as I possibly can. I am. Um, yeah. It's a interesting time, and you know the constraints we have with the, uh, our work and our industry. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, I am trying to run a restaurant, a successful restaurant, Jeez, dude. Um, which requires people to be in it. So um, none of yeah. that is, is happening. Well, you yeah. know, I think it's just like strength of character that pulls anyone through this time. And I know you, I've done tons of work with you. I've seen you backstage. I know what you're about. And I think if anyone can pull themselves and their team through this, you can. It's not easy. We all know we've had to be Thank super you. creative and super like out the box thinking. But yeah. I know that you have yeah. just, just, just like no you're doing right now, which is yeah. amazing. We're trying, you know, we're farming as well. Like the live stream thing, it's all very new, all very interesting for us, but we're getting there. <laughs> um, and, and, and you have not rest on your laurels. I mean, besides trying to get the restaurant thing going, and um, I'm sure you've had to be very creative and very out the box thinking with that. You've also been running this initiative, which has been feeding just hundreds of people um in south africa i mean what what compelled you to do that what com what what made you feel i need to i need to be a part of something that's gonna just create change and and help people like what was the calling there i, I think to be honest i think we all had that same urge and inclination the first few days of lockdown were um, a bit of an emotional roller coaster for many mm. of course initially selfish reasons of um you know you don't want to be um, kind of fixed to, or sorry, bound to your home forcibly, even if you like being home and you are an introvert and you are a person who prefers to be a bit of a loner. Mm, mm. It's, it's, it's great when you have the choice of being home, but when yeah. you kind of are forced, forced to yeah, be it's different. To and um, I think what lent itself to, once you get, once I got over that, what lends itself to that emotional roller coaster in the ensuing days is when you start to realize just how much people are going to be suffering out there yeah. you know you think about how you've managed to try and um pay for these kind of rainy days to ensure that you can still survive these times and that you can still cope and that you'll you'll kind of be okay during mm -hmm. this time but mm -hmm. um cut back, not for too long, but cut back on some luxuries but there are people that just literally can't put a meal on the table like at absolutely all. yeah but but, but people who live hand to mouth who mm -hmm. have those um, peace jobs, the the the, the um, you know the, the the jobs which requires I have to make sure that I work tomorrow so that I can put food on the table t sure. the following day. Sure. You know, and it's, it's about saving as, as much as you can. And some people can only last. Um, they probably got a a, a a savings worth of about um, maximum two three days as soon as you go into something like a lockdown and you have to feed your entire family. And then it's the privilege of being in lockdown, having the space. Mm -hmm. um in your home being able to move around being able to um i guess be able to secure yourself against what causes what you're locking yourself down from so yeah. um being able to um have that access to water yeah. afford hand sanitizer all those things you realize just how many people in this country don't, don't have yeah, that yeah. um so too um, but mainly, of course, it's about being able to see how you can help and feed as many people as possible. I, and then I came love that together about with some like-minded people, and then we we um, made a plan to uh, make it happen. And that's the Each One Feed One campaign was born with uh, Nelson Mandela Foundation, Kolisa Foundation, the um, Mbumba Foundation, and uh, my, my organization called Birthday Network. And uh, we've just been trying to get to as many people as we can across the across, across the country. The... And in the last four, three and a half weeks, four weeks, we've um, well, actually no, three and a half weeks, we've each driven about uh, we've over ten thousand kilometers, going from province to province, um, and we've uh, fed close to about uh, yeah, uh, hundreds of sorry, uh, tens of thousands of people. Incredible, dude! Uh, oh, I just I get so happy when I hear stories like this. Because it really takes um, thought leaders and people like you to have, to just spread the love. You know, I, I think about like, we've got this guy now who watches our lockdown show every every week. And um, we put out a challenge, a sandwich challenge, like just 
just did it like you know, the one day and this guy within a week he had his entire his name's troy everyone knows him and he's kind of become like a lockdown star but he within a week he, he had got his entire neighborhood to make sandwiches and soup and he's dropping oh, off wow. thousands of sandwiches just in his own capacity and soup from his you know from his neighborhood into the poorer communities and like if if besides the besides you know raising money and actually doing it yourself being a channel and being inspiration for people to like follow and 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 feel how good it feels to actually help somebody who is really s yeah. struggling you know um i think that in itself it's, i just want to say well done to you and thank you so much for being that guy because you could easily just have been the other guy the panicking guy who sits at home and goes how can i save my restaurant only me me i me me i you're not you're not doing that and that's, yeah that's, that's really cool um but tell yeah. us tell us about your restaurant because i was hearing about this before COVID 19 and i was it sounded so exciting and obviously you've been hit and you've had to recreate and you've had to probably figure out a way to do this delivery thing i'm sure tell us about the um, buns Out Burgers in Linden that you got going on? So Buns Out Burgers um, is in Linden and it's a restaurant that focuses obviously on burgers and we kind of have a philosophy of um, of creating something that is fast, fun and simple and, and sorry, yeah, fast, fun and simple, sorry. Um, and our restaurant is something that is, um, you know, an environment that people enjoy being in it's a uh, quite clean and um you know it's, it's, it's quite um it's, it's quite accessible although very stylish and it's it's, it's it's aesthetic but still something that everyone can come and enjoy um what we wanted to do was was specialize you know so yeah. many restaurants in the country um do everything i think one of our biggest issues in our yeah. restaurants do everything you go yeah. to a steakhouse and get you sushi, get sushi you yeah, go to sushi everything. restaurant you can probably get <laughs> Yeah, true. Um, and you can um, you, know, you go to an Asian restaurant, you can probably get other different types of food which shouldn't be on that menu if that's what you say you are. Um, and so it was just about it, um, being able to establish something like that and uh, making it something that also provided quality kind of um, burgers, you know. So yeah. we, we pride ourselves on the ingredients that we get, um, you know, how fresh they are, the quality of the meat, uh, locally sourced as well. Um, ensuring that it's um, grass-fed beef too. Yeah. And so it's coming. It's happy, food. It's, it's happy food. it's happy food. Yeah. And that's and like roles, so important. Are, sorry. Go for it, go for it. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Um, it's a. Uh, I, I think it's so important to have that happy food because it genuinely makes you feel good when you're eating it, even though it's you know sometimes not quite in your diet and it's a little bit you know it's got yeah. a little bit of that grease. It's still it's still something you can kind of enjoy. Um, you know quite we were having no sense. dude we were having I've, such I've a we so were having many... such a debate about this earlier about like junk food <laughs> and how actually junk food is a state of mind because if you if you're going to treat yourself to junk food which we all want to do every now and again you should not do it with a guilty conscience you should just enjoy it and be like you know what i'm going to enjoy it. and and look if it is made with, with with happy ingredients as we like to call them um yeah. that's even better but you know if you're eating that burger just enjoy that burger man because if you're feeling guilty that's 10 times worse for you than if you just eat it with a happy vibe and you're like i'm just gonna love the gonna rock this junk food <laughs> um i think i think that's a better approach and i'm sure you've seen a few times when you go to um, you know, I don't know, fast food diners, which we're not, but if you go to like fast food diners, you'll see that person who's ordering the, um, the double greasy, whatever yeah, burger yeah. with, um, like the largest fries and then like a diet Coke. Ugh, it's just come like, on, just do it all. Just go all, the way. Just go all the way. I'm with you, bro. I, I mean, I'm allergic to sweetness, so I can't even do the diet thing, but I'm just like, go all the way, make it the most, <laughs> just do it all. But, but we try and we try and make sure that you can go all the way enjoy the experience know yeah. its quality and it's delicious yeah. and it's um probably far more healthier than um than anywhere else that you're going to for your burgers brilliant brilliant very very cool very exciting and, and on the tv front are we still shooting are we are we shut down uh yeah we're, we're still shut down there i mean some some places have um resumed production mm -hmm. um i'm fortunate to have just finished a uh, film production just before lockdown um produced and exec produced my first film which Yay. is supposed to come out at the end of this year but we've had to move things to possibly to... the start of next year obviously because okay. of lockdown and everything so we're yeah. in post-production right now it's Very gonna be a exciting. while but it's Super exciting. So we must just Local keep film. we must just watch like keep our eyes on the press for that and see how that unfolds. Yeah, I suppose you can't tell us too much yeah. right now, right? 
Well, like actually, I can tell you quite a bit. It's, okay. It's, um, I can tell you a few things. It's it's a uh, cold. It's going to be called Courting Anati. Okay. Um, Courting Anati. And a nati. it's uh, co-produced with um, um, with Terry Petto. Um, awesome. Which you, you, obviously, you would know Terry Petto is absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yo, and it's about, directed it's by. Um, no, no, she's she's amazing. Um, and it's directed by Akino Motoso, who's like one of one of the continent's uh, best best directors. And we worked on a couple of films together. I did my first film um, with him uh, w- w- when I was a lead in that, and we've done some other work together. Now, finally, to be behind the scenes is something I've been really looking forward to. You know, even when I entered the industry, I was always wondering how do I get to the point where I can be, um, you know, one of the people who are owning what's being putting things out and then being able to direct and produce and all of that. And it's all part of the learning curve, and it, it's a, it's a long journey ahead, but. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm loving where it's already going now. Jeez, Mabs, I'm so proud of you. Like, I just want to shout out to you because you never stop working and you give so much of your talent and your time to to humanity, you know. Um, just keep up just keep up the greatness. Uh, you know, I think... Thank you. And I don't know how you do it, to be honest, but you, you just have so much going on and it's... It's just wonderful to see the results, you know, um, and that you're inspiring so many people. Um, and I just want to thank you so much for your time because, you know, I know you're the like probably the busiest guy that I've I've actually spoken to this no, whole no. lockdown season. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you so no. much for your time tonight and for being on the show. It's been really cool to chat to you, and I hope we do get to see each other sooner than later somewhere on a yes, stage. I hope so too. You know. Um, do you know, you know, there's something that's pretty exciting that I, I, I'm hoping we can work on, and I'll, yes. I'll speak to the team. Okay. Um, I'm not ooh, sure how much time ooh, we have, but I've, um, I've just jumped into this um, idea that we uh, launched yesterday with a promotions company and a production company. Yeah. And what we're doing is um, we're going to be having a lot of digital because it's going to be a while before we can have our events and everything. Yes. I think it's probably we're going to be last on the list when we yeah. can do that. But we What's it first, last in, like, first out, not other way. Like first in, exactly. last out. That's the one. First in, last out. Yeah. yeah. And and we used to, do, you know, we, we've done lots of um, corporates. Um, I don't know. Awards, yeah, corporates, corporates and awards yeah. and gala dinners and all those yeah. things. Um, and, and so we're thinking people are still going to be able to want to do that. And of course, your budget will be a whole lot um, lower, but it will be more affordable now. And mm. we want to do that digitally. So myself and a um, promotions company and a productions company will be having um, corporate award shows and everything. Where we will be having a mobile production that will come Very to, exciting. let's say, the CEO home and have like a, interview um, a crew of one or two people. We set up the cameras. You can interview them from there. I'll be emceeing from home. Everyone gets packages um, of... So clever. Um, so clever. I don't know let's say we do catering so everyone gets like all the food sent to them the different staff gets all delivered um and then everyone can just get the instructions and the cocktails or whatever that they quickly make and like, it's all like the they're there. there it's like and they're everyone can there. be in the same spirit of being yeah. at the event and we can have lots of fun with it. dude exactly. that's so cool and yeah. I t- can i tell you there's so a lot we'll there's, well, there's a lot of synergies forward. between you and ben and your minds i think you guys are very more connected than you know so you definitely need to get oh, on a call with ben, ben next week for sure awesome. <laughs> oh Love there you that. go applause for that there you go Mabs, I love you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for coming time. on the show and just keep being a wonderful human being and keep making all the differences that you're making in the world. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know by now, Mabs Paponyane, the biggest legend. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank we you love you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love you too. Bye. What a legend. What an absolute gentleman. Um, guys, speaking about movies, he was talking about movies. We, the, we're ending this whole uh, first nightly lockdown episode um with a very 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 exciting thing we're going to be talking about a movie a south african movie and i think we've got a trailer to play you guys if i'm not mistaken um this is if you want to follow the movie it's at morphe film guys it is a very exciting film that's coming out uh, we're going to be chatting to the producer and the lead actor after this but first let's watch the trailer so you can check out what the film's about sugar man Met a false friend on a lonely, dusty road. Sugar man, won't you hurry? Cause I'm tired of these seas. For a blue coin. Won't you bring back all the colors of Come on! 
Creepers, creepers. I've got goosebumps all over my body right now. How was that trailer? How was that trailer, guys? Yes, that deserves more than a clap. That deserves, woohoo, that's amazing. We have got Teresa, the producer, on the line. Teresa, hello. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you. I think we've got Kai as well. Your lead actor is also going to be joining us. I'm, I'm just going to read this because I think it, it's just, I just have to read it, okay? The year is 1981. And the South African white majority government is embroiled in a conflict on the South Angola border. Like all white boys over the age of 16, Nicholas van der Swart must complete two years of compulsory military service to defend the apartheid regime. But the threat of communism, the Swat Khafar, the black danger, is at an all-time high. But that's not the only danger Nicholas faces. He must survive the brutality of the army, something that comes with even more difficult when a connection is sparked between him and a fellow recruit. So this is the story. And this is a story that I think a lot of us can relate to because a lot of our dads would have been in the army during this time when the apartheid was at, you know, at its highest, when there was this thing going on in Angola and there was conscription and kids were sent off or young men were sent off to the army. And how we have this very real story about a guy who, who obviously falls in love with another man. And here's this incredible movie. Um, Tell us what inspired the story. Is it based on a reality, reality or is it something that, you know, was it was based on a book or talk to us about it? Yes. Um, thanks, Jules. The, um, the film is based on a book written by Andre Carlson and Amadva, uh, loosely based on the book because um, it veers quite substantially uh, in, in certain areas. And Oliver Humanis, the director and co-writer, along with Jack Sidey, um, got interested in the book and decided to take it on and develop the screenplay that is just Phenomenal. beyond amazing. Um, and then put together this group of talent to actually perform in it and a, and a crew that were exceptional. Yeah. And now we have this masterpiece. You do. You certainly do. I mean, it just looks like it's something that you want to see, you know, in the Oscars. And um, maybe, who knows? I think, you know, obviously the film was due to be released in March, April. Um, but with lockdown, you guys obviously had to change the way that you did it. Uh, you did it on uh, on a cost on a website, is my understanding. Um, and and how has it been received? Is like the, This is obviously the new normal of how we do movies until we can go back to the cinema, right? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was really tragic um, for us. You know, we started screening in cinemas on the 13th of March. Mm -hmm. So we had like 10 days and then lockdown hit. So luckily enough, we'd been kind of thinking along the lines of our own platform because we were actually worried about uh, load shedding. Yeah. I mean, Jeez. remember that. Jeez. And, um, <laughs> yeah. So we were kind of ahead of the curve um, in developing it. It's not, it's not, a, you know, as we would have wanted it to be. Um, you know, it's a little bit cumbersome, but it did manage to get it for us to be able to get the film out. Mm -hmm. And the response has been incredible. Insane. Absolutely incredible. Insane. I'm definitely going to be watching it. I, I'm, I'm very sorry it's the first I'm hearing it now, but although I have been, my head has been in the sand in the streaming stuff, so I'm not surprised. Um, Kai, where's Kai? I want to chat to you. What was it like, Kai, Hello. to be a part of this extremely emotive and, and, and very hard-hitting film? Um, you know, as an actor, was it a challenge? W was it something that you were ready for? Talk to me about it. Yeah, I mean, um, every kind of role that we take on is... Um, you know, extremely diffi difficult and unique. I think the thing about this role for me was that uh, my dad had gone to this army. So I've always said that acting is a way for me to try and understand human beings. Sure. And this was a way for me to try and understand my father and his generation. Yeah. So I think it was an incredibly personal story. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually in the same position. My dad also went to the to the army as well, and to Angola. And I, I, I often, I'm sure you have the same situation, often loves to tell his, his army stories at the dinner table, you know, and you have to just <laughs> listen to them. And they're, and they're always great. They're always just, you try and imagine, because I think the world's obviously changed a lot. We don't really have conscription. And and how did it feel to, to play a role in a film that was set uh, so many years ago, you know, not set in current, in modern times? Did you Did you have to... Um, adjust your language, your body language? How did that feel? Well, you know, it's interesting the context that we set in. And like, you know, I think there's some um, 
parents who or fathers that might have spoken to their children but for instance my father never spoke about the army mm. because i have i have an adopted brother of color and so these really interesting narratives happen between mm. people who were supposedly defending the apartheid regime yeah. who are now uh, adopting children of color and completely uh, going against that kind of yeah. mentality the mentality yeah. or rhetoric that was used during that time yeah. so yeah i mean it, it took some time to to shift my head from uh, 2000 and 19 to you know 1981 we don't we don't use the same kind of language and i think a couple of times Oliver had to say to both Matthew Vey and myself listen we're not we're not in the 2000s we're in 1981 these go back these, uh, ways of responding or understanding <laughs> yeah. yeah political context that don't exist in that time yeah yeah well i mean it's 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 awesome i think an awesome um achievement as a young actor to be able to throw back to a time that you weren't even alive in you know and to be able to try and um understand how it would have felt and how it would have how it would have been so well done to you and I'm I'm very excited to watch I mean the trailer just I goosebumps all over my body it looks like it's a fantastic film Teresa um thank you what made you want to be a part of this the story yourself what was the motivation for you personally well i i've worked with Oliver Hemmons previously uh on his projects and i'd actually taken a sabbatical uh to raise my two sons and yeah. Oliver then they they got he and Jack got the script to a point where they were ready to go and after two years of like of casting uh, around the country again and again Kai can tell you he cast for a number of roles <laughs> he found me he said we got we we have our our lead and we're ready to go and awesome. you need to jump on the bus now let's go brilliant and, um and of course I was I was thrilled and it's an honor to work with Oliver and the team that we had. We curated the te- the the you know the the crew as 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 well as we did the cast. And so yeah. the combined effort Went. was amazing. Will it will it will it be will it be streaming on any main media like um Netflix or will it be still going to cinema you know when cinemas reopen like what is the plan for um viewing from here on out? Yes, absolutely. We're working on another plan, so uh, you know, stay tuned with our, okay. on our social media. But until uh, media. we can watch the film on your website, right? Um, we can we can link and, and purchase a ticket to watch it. Yeah. Yes, www.morefilmstroke.stream. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Guys, go and watch it. Go and support South African film and cinema. I mean, I'm just blown away by what's been coming out. You know, I recently watched um the series Blood and Water obviously on uh on Netflix. I was completely sucked into that. I watched the whole thing in one night. And just to see like what is coming out of this country right now, I'm so proud. You know, I'm so so proud and and this looks like it is world class is going to win a bunch of awards and I really hope that it goes from strength to strength. Uh and well done for making such a beautiful piece of art, guys. It's fantastic. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Go check out the film www.morphyfilm.co.za and uh no, .com. .com, sorry. .com, not .co.za, .com. Um go check out the film, go support it, go be a part of it and I'll definitely be watching it. That's on my list to watch this week. Very exciting. Have a wonderful week, guys, and and we'll catch Thank up with you. you soon. Much love. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh that was Kai and Teresa from the film Morphy film the lead actor and the producer of the one of South Africa's most exciting new films that have just 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 come out and um yeah I think that is a very very cool way to end the show with something wonderful and something very very exciting on the film front and on another film front on the live streaming front just one more reminder guys please go and get your tickets for our live stream this Saturday it's going to be massive live at the Good Luck HQ presented by Gordons we're going to have a live mixologist we're having the full band together for the first time in the live stream which is super exciting we're doing a uh, light pyro effect cinematic camera crew and we're going to really go all out for this one so make sure you go grab your tickets on howler.co.za you can also uh, click the link in the comments on the side um if you also are thinking about wanting to get a ticket but you're also wanting to get merchandise we've got another thing that you can do if good luck merch store which is uh, goodluckmerchstore.com you can grab yourself a hoodie and a mask if you get that combo between now and saturday hoodie and a mask combo we will send you one times free ticket to the show as well so uh yeah maybe that's something that you'd like to do instead 
Either way, we just love to have you at the party. So we hope we see you there. We hope you have our support. And we've got a crazy lineup being announced for the Get Lucky streaming in the next couple of weeks. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry we're a little bit late today. Again, we will be better next time, I promise. We're still farming all our things on the side. where We're getting ready. We're getting used to it. Big shout out to the team, to Tim, to Nick, to Lee, to Matt, to Ben, to all the boys sitting in front of me working this thing out, guys. It's been really fun tonight. We will see you next time. We'll see you on Saturday. Till next time, everybody look after everybody. Good night and good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.